This is a review of the Nosler Acubond bullet. Acubond is one of the uh, premier bullets that Nosler makes. It's a heavier version of a ballistic tip. It's got very high ballistic coefficient. It's designed to penetrate and maintain a lot of weight. You can tell what Nosler Acubond because it's got this white tip. That's a trademark uh, feature of the bullet. And the, the bullet is designed to uh, shred up front. The nose is designed to shred, create a lot of damage where the bullet hits and then the rest of the bullet is supposed to mushroom and penetrate down through uh, through the big game animal and and uh, hopefully hit something vital. I almost never recover bullets uh, and here are the three that I've recovered out of a number of animals that have been shot. My load is uh, 130 grain Nosler Acubond, 270 Winchester, coming out at approximately 3,000 feet per second and I'm using a near max load of H4831 shortcut. So you can see the bullets, uh, they look like the classic, classic mushroom shape. They're supposed to be bonded. I'm going to get to that later. Uh, again, classic sh mushroom shape. Perfect. Uh, you can see how the jacket's uh, folded back and the bullet on the bottom you can see one of these petals. I'll give you some details on that. So here's bullet number one. Weighed in at 103 grains when it when it was recovered. This hit a deer at approximately 200 yards. Uh, and it's going to be the heaviest and the biggest bullet of the three that were recovered. Here's bullet number two. 88 grains. This bullet was uh, shot at a deer under 100 yards. And uh, same deer also caught bullet number three. 90 grains. So we got decent weight retention. I'll talk about shots on deer a little later in the video. I'm going to show you some pictures now of the, of the different bullets. So again, left to right we've got the older bullet uh, on the left and we've got the two newer ones on the right. You can see how the 100 grain bullet is taller than the other two, the other two bullets and that's uh, probably just a function of velocity. If you notice the uh, the petals on the, the middle bullet, uh, this is supposed to be a bonded bullet. Nosler says it's a proprietary process. I know Spear, uh, Spear actually with their gold dots, they, they have the, the lead core and they plate the jacket onto the bullet. So I have no idea how Nosler does theirs. But uh, So you can see on the top of this bullet, you can see the petal and you can see the, the black metallic of the, of the lead. And then the next shot, shows the the underside of that petal and you can see how there's almost nothing there on the jacket it's, it's just wafer thin but the bullet still has lead plated to it and uh, so when they say bonded I, I'm thinking it works so we'll talk about deer now shot a doe with this bullet shot it broadside at about 75 yards bullet passed through didn't recover it this deer, uh, and this picture is also in the first review, this deer was shot uh, in the high back and the bullet was pulled out of the brisket the next day and it, and it poked a hole in the lung. So it traveled pretty much lengthwise to the deer. We found the bullet in, the, uh, in, one, in the, uh, one of the front quarters while we were butchering the deer up. This deer, uh, this deer was shot in the brisket and was facing us um, one shot. Deer ran just a few yards before it fell over. Uh, never found the bullet. This deer here, this deer was actually shot three times. The, the first shot was really at the edge of the performance range for 270 Winchester and it hit the deer in the femur. Uh, never found a piece of the bullet but it broke the femur clean and uh, we only figured that out when we butchered the deer the next day. We knew it was hurt because it, it hid and limped off. Uh, took two more shots to uh, one to the liver and uh, both those both those broadside shots went straight through the deer never found the bullet this deer was shot twice uh, both high broadside shots never found either bullet this deer was the the deer that collected the two bullets uh, that are featured in this in this uh, review the two lighter weight bullets and the ones in the pictures in the middle on the right. So this deer was shot at 100 yards. Um, he was shot when he was 
running, he kind of caught a, a uh, it wasn't a broadside shot, it was an angle, and I think that's what kept the bullet from exiting. Uh, you could actually feel the bullet underneath the hide. Um, it was poking out. Uh, it didn't pierce the hide at all, but you could definitely tell where it was. So that about wraps up this video. In summary, this has been an excellent bullet in my experience. When deer are hit with this bullet, they they rarely travel very far. A few yards is it. It's very effective. Makes nice big holes in rib cages. Uh, it has great penetration. And when you find the bullets, uh, they're you know you only find a few of the bullets when you look. And uh, the three bullets that I've collected, um, you see them here in the video. So. So I'm very happy with this bullet and I plan on using these for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching.